السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ہنا شوکت اور میں ہوں آپ کی کلاس نائن کی کیمسٹری ٹیچر اور آج کے لیکچر میں ہم سٹارٹ کریں گے چیپٹر نمبر ون فنڈامنٹلس آف کیمسٹری اور ہم آج ڈسکس کریں گے بیسک انٹروڈکشن آف دس چیپٹر سو لیٹس گو ٹو ویژل روم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آر ہوم پلانٹ ارتھ ہیز مور ایونٹس اکرنگ آن ایٹ دیٹ وی کین امیجن ایونٹس وچ آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو لیونگ آرگنزمس اینڈ ایونٹس وچ آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو ہیوج اسٹرکچرس There are events which we can see and there are events which we cannot see. There are such events which amaze us and there are events which terrify us. And the formation of our Earth was also a very massive event which is known as Big Bang. But these all events arise in our mind, right? And these questions arise in our mind from curiosity. But answer to all these questions lies in simple one word which is science so hum keh sakte hain ki science is a knowledge which provides us understanding of this world and how it works ab aapke mind mein aayega ki what exactly science is so word science is derived from a latin word which is scientia and which means to know or knowledge agar hum iski exact definition ki baat kare to science is it is the knowledge which is gained through observations and experiments. Science is a very vast knowledge and there are a lot of different events occurring on our earth. You cannot sum up or you cannot study them under one heading of science. So what we have done is we have given different branches. We have converted science into different branches and we have divided science into three major branches, which is life sciences, earth and space sciences and physical sciences. As the name indicates, life sciences is related to the study of living organisms. And we know that animals and plants, these are living organisms. When we say earth and space sciences, so it is about study of earth, study of space, like geology, like astronomy. And when we say physical sciences, so in physical sciences, we study the science of matter. Matter means anything which has some mass and occupies some space. In physical sciences, it is categorized into physics and chemistry. When we say physics, so in physics, we study relationship of matter with mass and energy. We study forces in physics. But when we say chemistry, so it is a little bit different thing. So when you hear this word chemistry, what comes in your mind? Let me guess. Um, different, different structures, some difficult, difficult structures, maybe some mad scientists doing experiments or explosions, right? So what is chemistry? If we look into the definition of chemistry, so chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the composition, structure, properties and reactions of matter. جیسا کہ آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں اس ڈیفینیشن کے چار پارٹس ہیں فرسٹ از دا کمپوزیشن مینس ان کیمسٹری وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی کمپوزیشن کمپوزیشن کا مطلب کہ کوئی چیز کس کس چیز سے مل کے بنی ہے فار ایگزامپل اگر میں بات کروں ایک کوکی کی تو ایک کوکی کس کس چیز سے بنی ہے واٹ آر دا انگریڈینٹس آف اٹ دس از کالڈ ایز کمپوزیشن سو ان کیمسٹری وی اسٹڈی کمپوزیشن آف میٹر اٹ کوڈ بی اینی میٹر اراؤنڈ یو ایون اف یو آر اسٹڈنگ دا کمپوزیشن آف اے چیئر it would be in the chemistry. If you are studying what is the composition of your tea, it is the study of chemistry. Second thing is structure. Structure means if our substance is made up of different things, so what is the arrangement of those components in that particular substance? For example, if water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen, how those oxygen and hydrogen atoms are combined together to give it a proper structure. And what is the structure of that molecule? Third thing is properties. Properties could be of two kinds, physical properties and chemical properties. And fourth is the last part which we study in here and which is in very detail. And it is the reactions of the matter. Reaction means if you will combine that substance with another substance, what kind of new thing is going to form? What different is going to happen? So, with other things, how your matter is going to behave, this is what you will study in chemistry. So, hui hamari definition complete. So, hum keh sakte hain ke chemistry is the branch of science which deal with composition, 
structure, properties and reactions of matter. And remember, matter is everything around us which we can see and which we can feel with our five senses. But सवाल ये है कि why do we study chemistry? आखिर हम ये chemistry पढ़ते ही क्यों हैं? हमारे इर्द-गिर्द बहुत सी ऐसी चीजें हो रही हैं जो कि हमारे mind में बहुत से questions arise करती हैं. For example, क्या आपने कभी सोचा है कि plants का color green क्यों होता है? और जब बारिश होती है तो उसका पानी गीला-गीला क्यों होता है? Why not dry? और जब हम आतिशबाजी देखते हैं तो उसमें मुख्तलिफ खूबसूरत खूबसूरत कलर्स कैसे बन जाते हैं और जब हम खाना खाते हैं तो अचानक से हमारे अंदर एनर्जी कहां से आ जाती है और हमें सांस लेने के लिए सिर्फ ऑक्सीजन गैस ही क्यों रिक्वायर्ड है कोई अदर गैस हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन वो हमारे लिए वही काम क्यों नहीं कर सकती सो so, इन सारे सवालों के जवाब हैं केमिस्ट्री के अंदर मोस्ट ऑफ अस थिंक दैट केमिकल रिएक्शंस कैन ओनली अकर इन लेबोरेटरीज you know laboratories where we can see a lot of different apparatuses जैसे ही laboratory का word आपके mind में आएगा आपके mind में आई test tube, beaker, कुछ colorful से chemicals, right और हम ये सोचते हैं कि chemistry के जो reactions हैं they are done by the scientist but नहीं ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं है in our daily life in reality everything around us is made up of chemicals हर चीज में chemicals हैं everything around us so, development of science or technology and specially chemistry in it. Usne hamari rosmara ki zindagi mein bohat si facilities hume provide ki hain. Or, jaysa ke bohat se substances joh hum use karte hain, istamal karte hain, they are fruits of the chemistry. So, let's discuss few examples of those substances that we are using in our daily life and which will show the importance of chemistry to you. Sab se pehle baat karte hain petrochemical products ki. Petrochemical product, as the name indicates, petrol आया आपके mind में, जिसे हम अपनी गाड़ियों में डाल के drive करते हैं. So, petrochemical products are the products which are derived from petrol or directly petrol or these are the derivatives of the petrol. जब हम जमीन से तेल निकालते हैं, that is called as crude oil, हमें direct petrol नहीं मिलता. So, from that crude oil, we are going to make other petrochemical products by refining or maybe by changing a little bit of them. Now, second thing is medicine and drugs. जब भी आपके सर में दर्द हो, या आपको बुखार हो, या आपको कहीं भी जिसम के किसी भी हिस्से में दर्द हो रहा हो, आप एक छोटी सी टेबलेट खाते हैं, and after a while, your pain will go. It vanishes. How this happens? What is in that small tablet? Of course, there is something. This is not a magic, of course. So, what is in that tablet? In that tablet, there are specific chemicals. And those chemicals are going to react inside of your body. It's a detailed science, of course. If we talk about soap and detergents, have you ever thought that it's like a jadu that when you use soap or detergent, it's all out of foreign male clothes. So, basically, soap and detergents, they are chemicals. And these chemicals, they are going to react with the stains of the clothes and the stains will vanish. Hai na chemistry ka jadu? Paper, plastic, paints, pigments, ye saare aise chemicals hai, jo hum har vakt apne irdgir dekhte hai aur apne irdgir de istamal karte hai. And ye sab chemistry ki hi badolat mumkin hai. Insecticides or pesticides. Insecticides ya pesticides, wo chemical hai, jo ke hum istamal karte hai, उन चीजों को किल करने के लिए जो के हमारे लिए हार्मफुल हो सकती हैं। But इन सारे सारे फायदों के साथ साथ there are some some disadvantages as well. Development of chemical industry it has generated toxic waste and it has contaminated our water and polluted our air. But परेशान होने की जरूरत नहीं है। This is the chemistry which is going to provide us the knowledge and techniques to improve our environment and our health. अगर ये हमारे लिए किसी हद तक नुकसान दे है, तो उसका solution भी हमें chemistry से ही मिलेगा. So chemistry का knowledge ही हमें उन सारे मसाइल का हल भी बताएगा. So chemistry can explore and conserve the natural resources. So students, आज के lecture में हमने देखा introduction of fundamentals of chemistry. और इसमें हमने देखा what is science? 
what is chemistry what is importance of chemistry and what are some disadvantages of chemistry hum apne aaina aane wale lectures mein detail mein discuss karenge branches of chemistry ko tab tak ke liye allah hafiz